In this video, we will improve our previous example where we were writing the latitude and longitude for the destination location manually and drawing polyline from the current user location to the destination. If you haven't watched that video, I will leave the link in the description. But in this video, we will type in the location name as it is in the Google map for the pickup and destination location. And down there, a list of suggested locations will pop. And on top of any location, the pickup and destination location location will be updated, the polyline will be drawn and also the distance will be calculated. And all this without Google's Places API. You will see that at first we use Google's Places API but since it is paid we also search for an alternative free option and this demo that you're seeing is from the free version and not Google's Places API. So I suggest you to watch the video till the end and you won't have any problem but still if you have any problem you can comment your problem down below in the comment section and I will try to make another video on that and be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel now let's get started and see how we can do this so first i'm gonna change the ui and here in the top i will have the from location and in the bottom i will have the to location and when i click on that i can type the name of the place and list of suggestions will appear and according to that i can choose the place and draw the polyline so let's copy this code and uh, give it to chat gpt for the ui design this is our previous code that we have designed this one so i will paste it here and say let's see if it can understand what we have described so until it generates the entire code here you can see that it requires us to have places api key as we have discussed in previous video so i will go ahead and get a places api for that first you have to come to console.cloud.google.com and in the menu you can come to api and services and enable api and services here you can click on enable api and services and you will have this search option to search for places api and this one is the one that we want i have already enabled you can enable it from here once this is enabled you can simply come to api services again and in the credentials you could copy your api key from here we have already our api key in the android manifest so i can simply copy it from android manifest it is the same api but before that we have to go to the chat gpt and see the code so finally it's finished now i can copy the entire code from chat gpt and paste it right here and hopefully we don't have any errors and instead of this places api we can copy our api key from android manifest and then paste it here and now let's restart the application and see the result if it gives us that uh, same thing that we want or not so the app is running and we have the from location and to location let's type in some locations here it doesn't show the keyboard show so if i type microsoft we are not getting any suggestion list and there's no errors down here so let's see the code and uh, see what is the problem. Okay, I just changed my API key to another one which is paid and places API is not free and you cannot access the places or suggestions without having a paid account. So now if I type in Microsoft, you can see we get all the suggestions which has Microsoft in it. So I can click this one and now it should select my location to that so there are some problems with this ui if i click here nothing happens it just takes the value in the text field so i'm gonna ask chat gpt to fix this issue and then we will come back all right it's finished generating now let's copy and see if hopefully it gives us the result and i have to also update the api key now if i restart the application so this time it has only give us the one text box which is destination location and it has the current location of user already so let's test with destination location and if it worked we will also add the current user location i will say google bay view let's get that one so this is the destination right here this is the current location and this is the destination location we have the markers we have the polyline for the current user location i also want to change because that's what we were supposed to do from beginning so i will tell it to add the current user location text box also 
all right this time it should be fine let's copy the entire code and paste it right here and also update our api key now we have two options we can choose our current location if i click here and say i will be in google bay so this will be my current location and i want to go to the north wisman north wis So this one works. This is the current location and this is the destination location. And the distance is also calculated properly. But there's one thing that this places API is not free and we are looking for something free of cost. So let's ask ChatGPT whether it's possible to do the same thing for free using OpenStreetMap or not. So it says, yes, there are options. We have open street map and nomination free with reasonable price usage limit. Nomination has free API with both geocoding and reverse coding. So let's see how much it costs. I just want to see the pricing. So there's no mention about the cost. I think it's free, but there are some limited usage like maximum one request per second, which is fine. That's what we do. So let's tell ChatGPT to apply this using OpenStreetMap and Nomination PI. There are some other options also available, Mapbox, Geocoding API. Generous free tier is 100,000 requests per month is free. Then beyond that it's uh, costing. Then location IQ is also the free tier includes 5,000 requests per day, which is sufficient for most small applications. This is also cool. 5,000 is enough for small applications. Here, maps, geocoding for search API. The free tier provides 250 thousand transaction per month for various location based services then we have photon api which is a free open source geocoder built by openstreetmap it provides forward and reverse geocoding as well as location search automation making it suitable for replacement of google places api it is free and open source based on openstreetmap photon is also free we have got many free options let's see if the first one works if not then we will try the second one and see we will find one free option here so it is generating our code let's wait for it all right code is finished now let's go up and see what are the requirements for this whether we need to create an account or not so here we have the autocomplete and geocoding using nomination and uh, similarly the, there is code so let's copy our code and see if there is any problem this is absolutely this is not found uh let's see what our suggestions so i can give this error okay let's copy this updated code and paste it here and hopefully everything is fine we don't need any api key here do we no we don't need so if i save it and restart the application now all right we have our ui here and if i click here and type in google bay so let me select this location you can see that it has got less location comparing to google places api but it is here let's give the other point to north wisman and this is here and it does the same job as google places api but the good point is it is completely free we have not used anything from google places or places api you can see here it has only used this link and search inside the search we have the format so it works it is free and we don't have to worry about the price we don't have to worry about the cost we don't have to worry about the api it is completely free and this one works we don't even have to try these other options there are five more options that we can try but i don't need to this one works so that's it for now and in the next video i'm planning to make these markers movable like we can simply double click here and we will update our location or simply drag and move these pointers and uh, drop it wherever we want so in the next video i'm planning to update that but here before we stop i noticed that the distance calculation is gone from here so i will tell chat to bring the distance back
All right, we have the distance back. So that's it for now. In the next video, we will see how to move these markers and add some custom icons to these ones to make it look perfect and some more changes if we want. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.